Hi, my name's Janelle and welcome back to Rosary Apparel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my winter sewing plans. I have a beautiful pile of fabric here that I'm so excited to show you and I can't wait to let you know what I have planned to make from each fabric. And like always, I have a handy little save folder on my Instagram. So let's go through it now and let me show you what I have planned to make this season. Okay, so the first fabric I have to show you is this beautiful vintage tablecloth. I picked up this tablecloth, I think it was last year it was a while ago now as i was just so drawn to the beautiful intricate details that have been embroidered and stitched into it it is so unusual and so different to any other fabric you'd buy normally and i figured i'd be able to make something really beautiful and unique for my wardrobe from it so what i have planned for this beautiful piece is a really lovely puffy sleeve blouse like this one here worn by bubbly aquarius I really don't need another puffy sleeve blouse, but I just can't get enough of them. I'm obsessed with them. And I just think the details of this particular style of blouse with the beautiful um, shirring detail at the sleeves and the buttons down the front and even the cute little collar with the ruffles, I think out of something special like this fabric could be really, really beautiful. I just saw this blouse and instantly thought of this fabric. So yeah, that's what I have planned to make with this one. The next fabric is this beautiful floral green rayon fabric. I wouldn't quite call it olive. It's kind of in between olive and sage green. Let me know in the comments if there's an actual name for this shade of green. It's just got this really dainty, beautiful white floral print all over it. I just have a real thing for green at the moment and I saw this fabric and immediately added it to my basket. I'll have a link to all the fabrics I'll be showing in this video down in the description below if you want to check any of them out for yourself. But from this fabric I have planned to make just a really simple A-line midi length skirt. I actually found one at a thrift shop recently but I'm thinking of using that skirt I picked up as a kind of template to be able to make a new skirt. I'm thinking something that will look quite similar to this skirt here. I love the fact that you can style this kind of skirt for summer with just a t-shirt, but then also like here with a jumper and some boots as well. That's kind of the look I have in mind for my skirt, um, but I'm also actually going to be going on a holiday soon and it will hopefully be a lot warmer than it is here in Tasmania. So I'm hoping to whip this skirt up before I go so I can hopefully wear it where it's a little bit warmer as well. This next fabric I think I've actually shown before, but I still haven't found the perfect project for it. So I've decided to show it again. It's this really beautiful shared fabric. Like the fabric itself has been shared. It's really interesting. Um, I've never quite seen anything like it. It's got like the tiniest bit of stretch to it, but not too much. Um, it's just more just added a really lovely texture to the fabric. And again, this one is in a lovely shade of green and it's also a tiny micro gingham print, which I just thought was the cutest thing ever. And from this fabric, I have planned to make a Reformation style dress, like this one here worn by Elsie Larson. Basically this dress again has a beautiful slit um, that goes to a little bit above the knee, which is kind of nice, but the dress itself is a midi length. And it's just got these really lovely long puffy sleeves and quite a like, low neckline. I just think that style is really, really beautiful and different. And I actually picked up a pattern that I think I'll be able to use to create this kind of dress. And that is McCall's 8034. I had to pick it up in the larger sizes, size 14 to 22, because I just can't find the smaller size set anywhere. So I decided to just pick up the bigger sizes and adjust them to fit me, if that makes sense. Hopefully you can see here on this pattern, it just has a really simple fitted body which is exactly like this reformation style dress and then it also has this long sleeve option with some puffy sleeves so i'm going to have a bit of an experiment with these and see if i can make a dress as beautiful as this one the next two fabrics i have are two cotton jersey fabrics this one here is in a really lovely clay terracotta color it is such a beautiful color and then this fabric here is just 
the same but in grey and I actually picked this up as a kind of remnant from the thrift store. This piece cost me two dollars which is such a bargain. From both of these two pieces I have planned to make a couple of turtlenecks. I love styling my dresses with turtlenecks during winter. I was actually inspired to pick up this kind of terracotta coloured fabric after I saw this turtleneck here worn by Elsie Larson. This one's a bit more of a burnt orange colour but I do already have quite a bit of burnt orange clothing in my wardrobe so I've opted for this more kind of yeah raspberry clay colour instead and yeah I'm just excited to add some beautiful new turtlenecks to my wardrobe so I can style them with my summer dresses. Let's take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for curious and creative type people. Basically any topic you'd like to learn about you'll be able to find a class about it on Skillshare including design, fashion, sewing, illustration, photography, the list goes on and on. Something I've been really trying to work on this year personally is to share more on my Instagram and so to help me with that I've been taking a class called Photography for Instagram by Hannah Argyle. In this class I've learned so many new tips on how to take photos for Instagram, how to edit my Instagram photos, even how to take photos of myself which is kind of important as I like to share my handmade outfits with my audience. And through taking this class, I now feel equipped to share inspiring and engaging Instagram content. So if you'd like to explore Skillshare for yourself, then the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will receive a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. And then after that, it costs less than $10 a month for the annual subscription. Thanks Skillshare for sponsoring this video. This next fabric is actually a quilter's cotton, but when I saw it, I was just immediately drawn to it. It's this really beautiful tiny floral print with some lovely brown and mustard shades. And there's also a little hint of purple in the mix as well. When I first saw it, it actually reminded me of this really beautiful set by Peony Swimwear. This one here is worn by Jasmine Dowling. It's swimwear, but with this really cute matching puffy sleeve top. And so I was maybe thinking of making another puffy sleeve top out of this fabric here. I also think I might end up making a really simple v-neck button-up dress. Something a little bit similar to this one here. I just think this style is so beautiful and classic. I would instead probably do buttons all the way down just because I really like that style at the moment. So yeah, I kind of bought this fabric because I was inspired by the peony swimwear combo situation but I might end up making a dress out of this. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. This next fabric is a beautiful seersucker gingham fabric. I shared the story about this fabric in a recent behind the brand video, but if you haven't watched that, basically I went thrift shopping and found some pillowcases in this fabric and I was really devastated that I didn't find the bed sheets. I actually filmed that whole thrift shopping trip and after I uploaded that video, it turns out the lady who donated the pillowcases watches my videos. And so she got in touch with me and let me know she still had the comforters that she no longer needed and asked whether or not I'd like them. And now I have a heap of this beautiful gingham seersucker fabric. Thanks again, Kylie, if you're watching. I love this fabric so much and I'm so excited to make something beautiful for my wardrobe out of it. I love this fabric so much because one, it's seersucker and two, it's gingham, which are two of my all time favorite things. And so I really wanna make something extra special for my wardrobe out of this. And what I have planned to make, and also something I found during that particular thrift shopping trip, is this beautiful McCall's Laura Ashley sewing pattern. While I was looking through the vintage sewing patterns, I saw this dress and instantly was drawn to it. It's got a really lovely, I, I always call it a princess waistline. I'm not sure if that's exactly right, but it does remind me of a princess dress. Like it kind of goes down a little bit into a dip and the skirt is fully gathered and it also has some beautiful puffy sleeves as well. I actually think I might even end up using these puffy sleeves to go along with the other McCall's pattern to make the Reformation style dress just because these are pretty much the exact kind of sleeves that that dress has. But I also am going to have a go at making this Laura Ashley dress with this beautiful grey seersucker gingham fabric. I just think the combination of these two will go so well together. I love the idea of making an elaborate 
looking Laura Ashley dress out of a more plain type fabric. And I'll definitely be sharing the whole making process in a future video. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. I was also really inspired by this dress here worn by Polly. It's again got that princess waistline and it's made out of a relatively plain fabric, right? Like it's just a check fabric, but I love how it's just like a simple print in a kind of dramatic style dress. Um, I was really inspired by that. So that is kind of what I have envisioned for my Laura Ashley dress. And then the last fabric I have to share is this insanely beautiful burnt orange corduroy fabric. It's a wide whale cord um, and I picked this one up on Etsy and I shared the whole purchasing process, I guess you could say. I kind of filmed how to go about purchasing fabric online um, and that video should be going out next week, hopefully. So. If you struggle with purchasing fabric, especially online, hopefully this video will be helpful for you. And I actually bought this fabric because I had a particular project in mind, and that is this insanely beautiful corduroy dress. This dress is by the brand Joanna Sands The Label, and they used to sell this dress. It's actually called a Rosa dress, which is interesting because I sell a sewing pattern called the Rosa pattern, and it's actually a very similar style dress to this and I will be using my rosa pattern to create this dress. If you like this style of dress too then definitely go and check out what they do sell because they have some beautiful pieces and it's a small handmade business as well. Unfortunately they don't sell this particular style anymore hence why I'm going to have a go at making one for myself instead. I just love the length of this dress. I love how it's almost ankle grazing. It's just so beautiful and I'm sure it will be so nice and warm. And I also love how it has the puffy sleeves which again I think I'll use the Laura Ashley pattern for. And it also has a little ruffle at the neckline. I may experiment with that a little bit but I might end up skipping the ruffle. And looking at this photo the dress also has pockets which is just a huge win especially in winter you just want to keep your hands nice and warm in some pockets so I'll definitely be adding pockets to mine too but like I said they don't actually sell this design anymore so I'm going to have a go at making one for my wardrobe instead and the last thing I have to share with you is some new yarn I was kindly sent this yarn by We Are Knitters it's the Merry Wool. I can't remember the colour, but I think it was called Spotted Grey or something. I'll leave it all linked down below if you'd like to check them out. It is the loveliest, softest feeling wool I have ever felt. I'm so excited to see how this knits up. I think it's going to be such a lovely yarn to knit with. I'm really keen to add more grey items to my wardrobe. I actually love wearing grey so much, and I think a lovely hand knitted cardigan out of this wool would be such a lovely addition to my wardrobe. I'm actually currently working on a new cardigan at the moment, and it's this cardigan here by the Knit Pearl Girl. I'm really enjoying making this pattern so far, and it actually suggests to use this yarn, so I may end up making another one out of this yarn. But We Are Knitters did kindly send me a kit with this wool as well. Let me go get it so I can show you. So the kit I kindly received is this one here, and it's called the Hackney Cardigan by We Are Knitters. And in the kit, I got all the yarn I need. I got a pair of knitting needles, and I also got the pattern for the Hackney Cardigan. I really like the look of this cardigan too, so I'm not 100% sure which one I'll make yet, but it's really handy to have a few options to work with. So yeah, I'm really excited to get started on a cardigan from this, but like I said, I am currently working on a different project, um, which I'll insert on the screen now so you can see how that's going, which so far has been a real joy to make. And because it's winter, I feel like I should be able to squeeze in two knitting projects, hopefully. <laughs> So yeah, they're the two knitting projects I'll hopefully be working on this season. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my winter sewing plans. Like always, I'm sure I'll be sharing the videos and tutorials for a lot of these projects in the coming months. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you'd like to see those. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could give it a like and feel free to come and follow me over on Instagram too, at Rosary Apparel. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching.